OK, Year 5s, let's do a quiz and see what you know. This quiz you can do on your own uh, with your family in a group or let your teacher know and you can play as a whole class. There are two rounds of questions. Each round has eight questions and all the answers are fully explained at the end. This quiz covers English and maths, but also all kinds of other um, things from nature and from science and um, art, all kinds of things. So let's get started. Grab a piece of paper and a pen and we're on to round one. Question one. Nice and easy to start. Seven times eight. Question two. Her smile was sunshine. This sentence uses two types of figurative language. Can you identify which two kinds of figurative language are in this sentence? Question three, do you know what kind of bird this is? Question four, can you write 1.75 as a fraction? In its simplest form, if possible. Question five, do you recognize this author? He was the children's laureate up until 2024. Question six, stationary sets cost three pounds 87 each. I buy five of those. I pay with a 20 pound note. How much change will I get? So stationary sets cost three pounds 87 each. I buy five of them. I pay with a 20 pound note. How much change will I get? Give you a little bit of time to work that out. OK, if you need longer, press pause. I'm going to move on to question seven. Can you correct these spellings? The words are delicious, profession, occurrence. Delicious, profession, occurrence. Can you spell them correctly? And the final question in round one, question eight. How much time has passed between these two clocks? They both show a time in the morning. Okay. That's the end of round one. You could go back and have another look at the questions if you would like to have another go. Otherwise, the answers are coming up. Question one, seven times eight is 56. And I think a nice way to remember this one, which is often the hardest times table to remember, is five, six, seven, eight. If you write it out with the answer in the front, you can see that the numbers are sequential, five, six, seven, eight. So 56 equals seven times eight. Her smile was sunshine. So we have alliteration, smile, sunshine, two words close to each other that begin with the same sound and a metaphor. So the metaphor is the word sunshine being used to explain what her smile was like. Her smile isn't actually sunshine. So it's a metaphor to help us understand what it was like. This is a kingfisher, beautiful bird. So hopefully you recognize that the whole number will remain a whole number. So one stays as one. 0.75, you might already automatically have learned it is equal to three quarters. But another way to work it out is to think of 0.75 in a place value chart. It would be 75 one hundredths. 
And if you divide 75 and 100, each by 25, you can simplify that fraction to three quarters. So 1.75 equals 1 75 hundredths, or is equivalent to 1 and 3 quarters. This is Joseph Quello. He's written some super books, lots of lovely poetry books. These are his fairy tales gone bad, which I highly recommend. Amusing and uh, lovely illustrations as well. OK, so hopefully you recognize this was a two step problem. The first step is to multiply 3.87 by 5, um, which I've done here. Remember, when you're multiplying decimals, you can count up how many digits are after a decimal to know how many digits in the answer will be after a decimal. So when I times 3.87 by 5, I would think of it as 387 times 5. And then afterwards, notice the 8 and the 7 are after a decimal point. So therefore, in my answer, the 3 and the 5 will be after a decimal point. But I paid with a £20 note, so I want to work out the change. So I can do that using column method subtraction, which I've done here. And I would need to exchange from the two all the way along. And I would reach an answer of 65p. Here are the correct spellings of delicious, profession and occurrence. Carefully check your spellings. Many children forget the second R in occurrence. A way to remember it is if you removed that second R, it would actually make the sound occurrence. So occurrence is going to need a double R. And finally, the first clock showed 25 past nine. The second clock showed 11.55 or five to 12. Time elapsing is two and a half hours or two hours and 30 minutes. Well done. You might want to pause now and add up your scores, compare them with anyone you're playing with, and then get ready for round two. Round two, here we go. Question one. She ventured through the forest into the unknown. Can you find the prepositional phrases in this sentence? Question two, can you name each of these quadrilaterals? Pause if you need more time to look at that. Question three, what is magma and what is lava? Question four, here are two fractions represented pictorially. Can you add the fractions together and then convert your answer into a decimal? You, this might take some time, so you might want to pause here and give yourself enough time. I'm gonna move on to question five because I think you'll need a little bit of time for this one. So press pause now. Okay, I'm gonna to move to question five. Do you know which art or artist created this painting? Question six. Cows have best friends. Is that true or false? Question seven. Can you unscramble this determiner? So you see five letters there. Can you rearrange them to spell a determiner? If you need a little more time, pause now. I'm gonna move on to question eight. Can you write a number sentence using only the digit two you can use the digit two as many times as you like, and any of the four operations, plus, minus, times, divide, 
which has an answer of 23. So you're going to try to think of a number sentence. You can only use the digit two, but you can use it as many times as you like. You can use any of the four operations. And you can use more than one operation. You can have more than one number involving the digit two to make an answer of 23. If you would like more time to think about this, please press pause. Otherwise, the answers are coming up. Question one. She ventured through the forest into the unknown. So the prepositions, so the words that tell us where something is in relation to another thing, are the words through and into, but this is asking for the prepositional phrases. So it's asking for the words that go with that. So the two phrases are through the forest and into the unknown. Question two, here we are. I had sneakily included the same type of quadrilateral twice, just to give you a little extra test. So see if you managed to get any of those correct. If you didn't, definitely brush up on your geometry at home um, and learn all about the different types of shapes. Remember, a quadrilateral is just a four-sided shape and there are various names for the different types of quadrilaterals you might come across. Question three. So in a volcano, hopefully you can remember this from geography, the magma is the molten rock that is underneath the ground. Once it emerges outside of the ground, out of the volcano, we call it lava. Here was your tricky fractions question. So in the first pizza picture, we have two fifths. And in the second one, you could have thought of it as two eighths, or maybe you thought to simplify it to one quarter, which would have helped you. We then can't add those if they're in fifths and quarters because they have different denominators. So what we need to do is find equivalent fractions that have the same denominator. In this case, 20 works well because I can multiply five by something to make 20 and I can multiply four by something to make 20. So for the first fraction two fifths, I know I multiply five by four to make 20. So that's what I have to do to the numerator two on top. Two times four is eight. For one quarter, I know I need to times four by five to make 20. So that's what I have to do to the numerator on the top. One times five is five. So I'm left with eight twentieths plus five twentieths, which I can add together. That makes 13 twentieths. But I haven't quite finished because I need to write my answer as a decimal. I know a decimal would be equivalent to something over 100 because then I can think about my knowledge of a place value chart. Well, I know I can times 20 by 5 to make 100. So I'm going to do that to both the denominator and the numerator. 13 times 5 is 65. 65 one hundredths I can now easily convert into a decimal and it is 0.65. Question five, this is a piece of art, famous piece by Banksy. Question six, it's true, cows do have best friends because if they're separated from their friends, they become quite upset, more upset than cows that are allowed to stay with their friends. So maybe think about that next time you're eating some beef. Question seven, a determiner is a word that tells us more about which or how many nouns so those was this determiner, those. Well done, if you managed to get that. Final question, there is more than one way to solve this. Here is one solution. I could put the digit two together to make 22. And then remembering my order of operations, I would need to solve what's inside the brackets first. Two divided by two is one. So I'm left with 22 plus one, which is 23. Well done if you managed to find a solution. Add up your scores for both rounds and compare it to your friends or your family or your class, whoever you were playing with, or just congratulate yourself no matter how well you've done, you have done. 
couple of things that you might want to have a look at on my website, a times table program that where you can use puzzles and games to learn your times tables very effectively and some comprehension crosswords. I hope you enjoyed playing this quiz and I hope to see you again another time.